Many pregnant women are questioning whether to get the coronavirus vaccine. Right now, there's only limited data on how safe it is for them. The CDC says women have a low risk of getting severe illnesses from COVID, but that risk is significantly greater for pregnant women. CBS News senior medical correspondent Dr. Tara Narula spoke with a pregnant nurse about why she decided to get the vaccine. The theoretical risks of the vaccine did not outweigh the known risks of COVID. Megan Garibay is a registered nurse and infection preventionist at Comanche County Memorial Hospital in Lawton, Oklahoma. She's eight and a half months pregnant and received her first dose of the Pfizer vaccine last month. I've got a much higher chance of suffering severe consequences or even death from COVID than I do from suffering severe consequences from this vaccine. Garibay had a mild reaction from the vaccine and will receive her final dose today. Did you initially have any hesitation about getting the vaccine while pregnant? Initially, I would say there was some hesitation just because, I mean, at the very beginning, I kind of felt like everyone else did that the vaccine may have been a little bit rushed, but once I had the data in my hands, that hesitation really went away. Garibay says that the clinical trial research done on non-pregnant women convinced her to get the vaccine, but there is no safety or efficacy data on how pregnant women and nursing mothers will respond to these vaccines because they were excluded from clinical trials. The CDC says pregnant women can choose to get vaccinated. And the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists advises that COVID-19 vaccines should not be withheld from pregnant women. But for 31-year-old Taiwo Odesanya, the lack of data concerns her. She's 35 weeks pregnant with her first child and says she wouldn't get the vaccine if it was offered. We don't know what long-term effects even look like for pregnant women as a whole. So we certainly don't know what long-term effects look like for um, you know, fetuses. Pregnancy already comes with its own anxieties and risks. But now for women like Odesanya, the pandemic and the new vaccines add another layer of concern. But I think the other side of that too is when the um, risk of, well, what if you are pregnant and you do get COVID? And I think if I were a month three, I'd be more inclined to take it just because we see so many horrible things happening to, um, you know, adult people who have COVID. The vaccine really is our best way of preventing COVID-19. Dr. Laura Riley is an ob guy at New York Presbyterian. She says even with the lack of data, the benefits of the vaccines are very likely to outweigh the risk of COVID-19. The biology of the way this vaccine works does not make us think in any way that this vaccine is going to be any less safe or any less efficacious in pregnancy than it is in non-pregnant individuals. And Dr. Tara Narula joins us now. Tara, good morning. Uh, this I can see how this is such a difficult choice uh, for women here. What is the best advice for pregnant women and nursing mothers at this point? It is a difficult decision, and Anthony, it's one that really is a personal decision. And we talk about shared decision making, which means that a woman should sit down with her OB guy and have a discussion about the risks and the benefits. And when we talk about risks, we're talking about what is her risk of exposure? Is she a frontline worker? Is she in a job where she's out in the community where there's high transmission? How far along is she in the pregnancy? What are her underlying medical conditions that might put her at even a higher risk? And then there should be a frank discussion about what the risks of COVID to pregnant women in general are and what data or lack of data we have in terms of safety. Uh, so it is that really back and forth discussion with her provider that's going to help her make that personal choice. All right, Dr. Tara Narula, thanks.